Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to rent a car in Japan. Before we start, hurry up and check out other software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you actually rent a car in Japan. So before we actually show you how to book a or basically get a car rental or basically view car rentals, there are a few requirements that you actually do first before you are able to do so. So one of them is to basically have your documents prepared. So make sure that you have your passport with you, your driver's license that you have on your uh, country, as well as an international driving permit. So you might be wondering where do you get an international driving permit here. So there are a bunch of organizations that provide that, but you could basically visit AAA or AAA here, which in this case gives you the uh, permit or international driving permit. So international driving permit here allows you or basically gives you the permit to drive on different countries. So meaning you should be able to start driving on different languages uh, in different uh, countries with this permit here. So. Uh, in this case, you could also visit uh, an organization or an office uh, ne uh, ne almost near to your area. So in this case, make sure to check that first. But you could do this also online if you want to. So in this case, uh, how do we actually book a car rental? Well, in this case, we'll be using booking.com. So to make things a lot easier for you, you can actually go to the following link here, which is going to booking.com slash car slash country slash JP dot HTML. So it's going to say car rental in Japan. Now in this page here, you could basically indicate uh, where uh, is going to be the pickup location, the pickup day here, the time drop off date and the time itself. So in this case, you could go and specify those locations there. So in this case, it's going to click on search here once you've uh, indicated your pickup location. It's going to give you uh, the best deals for you. So there's going to be a bunch of cars that you get here or basically your rent. So in this case, we have a Nissan DayZ a GPS. So most of the cars that uh, is uh, bookable in Japan or in this case, uh, uh, rentable in Japan actually have GPS. So if they actually support GPS here, as you can see, most of them has G GPS on it. So in this case, you go ahead and basically search for a car that you want to get. So for example, we want this one. Let's go ahead and click on view deal. Now it should open up the actual uh, page for itself. So you should be able to see different uh, details about it. Like for example, how many seats, how many uh, large bags uh, it actually fits, if it's automatic or uh, in this case, uh, how many uh, millages uh, it actually allows. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and view the pickup and drop off uh, dates here and the car price breakdown here as well. But if you want to proceed with the car rental here, but then again, I would suggest you to first read all the details here, because sometimes cars will actually have a bunch of details here to read from, uh, for, uh, read them first. Uh, read, uh, it's really important that you read them first. So in this case, so go and click on continue to book, and you now have the option if you want to have a full protection, which in this case uh, uh, protects you from car excess, windows and mirror wheels and tires, uh, if it's actually broken, and administration and breakdown charges. So for example, we want to go with full protection here. Let's go to go to book with full protection. Now, in this case, you now need, prov need to provide all the entire details here. So your details are really important, so make sure your details are correct here. So in this case, that includes your email address, your first name, your last name, your contact number, your country of residence, and optionally, your flight number. Now, in this case, make sure all the details that you have here are actually correct. So it means that uh, it matches your... Uh, basically your legal info so it makes make sure it actually matches your uh, driver's license we also have the billing address here so once you provide all the details including the payment method here you should be able to actually book the uh car for rental so you could also read the terms of service here and policy terms and uh rental terms in here so that you'll be informed on what in case something actually happens you should be able to, to be informed on those specific uh terms but in this case uh that's about it so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.